Imagine you could use Emis Web faster. How valuable would that be to your time? Well, in this video, I'm going to share one of my time-saving hacks that you can use to navigate uh, within Emis Web faster. By the time you finish this video, you'll be able to add medicines from any screen in Emis Web with just key, two keystrokes. Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Jignes Ngani. I'm a practice pharmacist based in South London with a special interest in Emis Web and asthma. If you want to learn more about how to use Emis Web better and faster, then click on the subscribe button below and hit that notification bell. Now, before I came across this hack, when I wanted to add a medicine in Emis Web, the way I would do it was is as follows. You can see I'm in the appointment book screen. Now, when I used to want to add a medication from this screen, what I used to do is I'd go to the top of Emis and click on the homepage icon in the toolbar. I'd then go to the quick launch menu and click on medication. And that would take me into the medication screen. And then I'd press, press add drug. And that would open up the sort of add medicine screen. And um, what I didn't realize is actually, this is a pretty slow way of, of doing this. And there is a much faster way. Um, and that's when I learned about the function keys. Now, if we go back to appointment book, and now we click on F9, which takes us straight into the medication screen, and then F4, I can, you know, I'm straight into the add medication screen now. So with simply two key strokes, I've gone from the appointment book screen into medication screen and straight into adding the medicine. It, it really is that easy. So F9 and then F4. It is so much faster than using your mouse. Now, as a pharmacist, you won't be surprised to hear that I access the medication screen a lot throughout the day. So being able to switch from any screen to the medication screen just by pressing the F9 key saves me time over and over again. I hope it will have the same benefit for you. If you found this video useful, please click on the like button so that more people can learn from this video. And I would love to know if this is a hack that you will use when you next try at Emis. Let me know in the comments below. Now, if you want to learn more about how to use Emis Web faster, then I'd recommend you check out the next video in this series here. If you have any time-saving hacks that have helped you, please share them in the comments below. Until next time, bye for now.